Hello, West Coast Doug here. I'm going to show you how to make a little pre tin windmill turbine made out of PVC, an old drill, and uh, some cut PVC props. So, the first thing you're going to need, of course, is the drill. You know, preferably use one that doesn't work anymore. I just happen to buy one or two of these a year, so. I have a few of them laying around. Uh, you could take the motor out, you don't have to. I do because I use them for other things, but that's your preference. Next you need some PVC. One T fitting, two, but you can get away with one elbow, 22 and a half degrees, uh, and then some regular pipe. So it's real simple. All we do is <clears throat> start off with the T. Take a little small about two and a quarter inch piece, shove that down in the top. And then we take uh, another piece about two and three quarter inches, shove that in the bottom. Next is correction. Take that one back out of the bottom. Stick it into the side. And then we're gonna go with a little something at the bottom, a bigger one. Um, I'll probably use a longer one than this because this is the piece that goes down into the steel pipe and sits on there and makes a pivot with the wind. Next we'll take a 22 and a half degree elbow, stick that in there. You want to make sure that they're lined up straight with everything else. Why does it look kind of funky? But you can adjust it before you finish it up. I'm going to take about another uh, 8 inch piece, 10 inch piece. Shove that down in there. I'm going to go with another 22 and a half degree elbow. And shove that in there. Next, the tail piece. About another 8 inch, 7 inch piece. Uh, what you want to do is take it over to your saw, uh, preferably a chop saw. And what you're going to do is you're going to lay it down on there and just get that little rip right there. And that's what your tailpiece is going to slide into. And then you'll attach it with a couple of screws on either end that hold it in place real nice. So next, we got to cut the blades. But I've already done that, so we'll just go over and paint them. Okay, those are blades we've already cut out and uh, painted both sides of the blades and this is going to be our tail piece. You can make that any shape you want. I just kind of stick a blank piece of wood on the PVC and uh, hold everything up connected to the, the drill so that I can just kind of draw a shape that, that looks decent for what we're doing. Got to paint the back side of it still. We'll do that right quick. Alrighty, about ready to put it all together. We'll take the uh, tail piece and now go down here somehow. Open it up, come in, slide her in. Got pre marked place right here. Just screw this down. Right through there. One on the other side. By the way, I'm using recycled screws. Just anytime I gotta take one out, you throw it in the bucket. So, one more here. And we're ready to slide this Oh, one more thing. You can either screw or glue all these joints. You don't probably have to do either, but I screw because I like to take stuff apart a thousand times, so that's why I screw instead of glue. But you could get the PVC glue. It's gonna hold it real nice and firm. You won't have to worry about anything with that. Uh, so 
also before you screw or glue these down what you want to do is get all your pieces together and you get it on the table or bench and push all your joints straight down and everything will fall directly into place where it's supposed to be now we'll take our tail yeah she doesn't want to go in I got the screw going through too much back her off her There we got it. Now the tail, you're going to have to eyeball because it doesn't have a, any kind of coupler on it. So I just kind of move it back and forth. Okay, you know what you got there.